Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is Thursday, November 14th. Um, whew, are you guys busy? I've been busy too. A lot of errands, a lot of running around. Uh, the moon is currently still in Gemini. I think where are we at? Like the, the 12th or the 13th degree. Okay, so for moon in Gemini, the things that could be happening, let me, <clears throat> I, you guys know that I, I can't even talk today. My God, that would be the Gemini moon um, or the Mercury retrograde in Scorpio because my Mercury is in Scorpio. Okay, so where was I? Moon in Gemini, uh, car accidents, habits, schedule, patterns, patterns of information, formation, information or structured. Um, I also got, and these are intuitive. The following is intuitive on top of the generally known. Uh, science, electron, photon, road rage, speeding, using a car as a weapon, um, like uh, driving it uh, into something, into a building, into a crowd, uh, blowing it up, carjacking, along with the full moon in Taurus, yeah, cars, uh, a car pile up, major explosion, fuses, wiring, gossip, static, nerves, habits and patterns, oh, daily errands, rumors, anxiety, and uh, we know that Gemini is the sign of communication, okay, think, thinking, speaking, listening, learning, okay, so numbers of the day, numbers of the day are 14 and 19, what are additional numbers? I'm so dis I'm not organized today, guys. I'm so disorganized compared to as yesterday, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that uh, Mer I think it was like Mercury sextiling Saturn or whatever. Yesterday was busy, busy, busy. We were like a chicken with our head cut off, but we were able to get stuff done. And literally, it felt like it took all day. <laughs> all day. Okay, so. 14 and 19. 14 would be like... The temperance card, when I see 14, it can be about social media, but it's usually about declaring something, okay? And, and they're, they're telling me, you know, Taurus in the physical realm. So this would be speaking up or posting something, talking about something on any uh, social media platform, some kind of medium, using some kind of medium to... I want to say transfer and communicate. Um, that's not the words I'm looking for, but they're telling me say it, say it. Okay, so 14 equals 5. So you're going to, you might be declaring some changes. Changes. In your foundation. Changes in the roots, changes in your foundation changes in your stability it could also be changing up the manifestation that's coming in with Gemini because Gemini studies and they learn Gemini's are very very intelligent they are excellent learners then we have the number 19, okay? Beginnings and endings, completion to a cycle, moving forward with something new that you've been holding space with. So the additional numbers are 15, 15, and 15, and I'll get to that transit in a second. 15 is, it's a transformation. It's expressing a change or expressing, a changing the way you express a boundary. It also equals six, so this is about daily boundaries. Something you do on the daily, you're throwing it out, you're getting rid of it, and you're trying something new. So this is kind of like shaking it up, having to do something new, or declaring that, let's do this today. Like, what do I wanna say? Mixing it up, not letting anything get stagnant, Hmm. So anyways, we have two number 14s today. So you could be all these uh, 
things that I mentioned you will be seeing on the news, and we're already seeing them because the moon went into Gemini yesterday. Okay, so we've already come into that, and we're seeing, you know, accidents and <coughs> with the full moon and Taurus accidents, rescue, escape. Uh, I'm going to just read you again the moon and Taurus because those energies are still active, and you'll, you'll be like, oh, yep, yep, that happened to me. Okay, there's threats. Death threats, bomb threats, house explosions, thefts, rapes, open enemies, mass shootings, assaults, sexual assaults with the sun and Scorpio, marijuana, okay, so the rescue and escape, and a rash of threats or threatening. Add the Scorpio sun energy in there, and this would be compulsive or obsessive obsessively threatening someone, okay, and robberies, uh, by gun, by knives, just because Scorpio is ruled by Mars, Mars would be weapons, right, okay, and then we have Uranus and Taurus, there's that air energy that brings in the knives, okay, so multiple stabbings, multiple shootings, multiple robberies, multiple threats, multiple invaders, house invaders, home invasion, home robberies, um, territory invaders, and I also got bites, oh, and also, <laughs> I have to throw this in there, but there's some kind of shit in there, literally shit, either somebody farted, or some kind of reference to the ass, or take a shit, can't do shit, haven't done shit, something with, <laughs> and I saw something yesterday about this guy who got away and was hiding, and he farted, and the cop, uh, it gave away his hiding spot. I don't know if that's true or not, but that is actually a prime example of the full moon in Taurus, the Uranus in Taurus, um, showing its head, or <laughs> uh, using its voice. <laughs> Sorry, I know. I don't want to get too gross. So... <laughs> Let me get back to the numbers. So 15, 15, 15 equals 6. Okay, you could work your ass off today. There is a new intention going on. You could be looking at what you're doing differently. And this could all be because you're looking at the people around you. There's a little bit more understanding. And you realize that things need to be adjusted. So it, my paper. So it does feel like an adjustment period also. And during Gemini, we learn learn we study we learn we intern so it's practi practicing not necessarily what you preach but it could be with the number 14 card right practicing what you preach or preaching that you're gonna start practicing something and maybe even telling other people or sharing with other people okay so what do we have today besides that we've got some minor transits so watch your money You may have difficulty concentrating, or you may have had difficulty concentrating. Um, you could be lazy. You could just have a hard time getting things done. Maybe with the Gemini energy, it could feel like anxieties where your mind is uh, flitting to and fro, <laughs> and you're finding it hard to just concentrate on one thing. Yesterday, we had some help with you know Saturn uh, and Pluto. Uh, Mercury and the Sun it helped us to concentrate be serious and practical but today those energies may be fading for you or for some people so it could be hard to know where to go first don't let it unseat you guys and then the thing is today also you are susceptible to schemers so there could be people watching you people casing you watching your move, waiting to take advantage of you in some kind of way, okay, I kept coming, coming up with, um, I keep seeing the number four, not that I'm seeing the number four uh, is in the card or in my repeating numbers, I'm actually seeing the four of pentacles card from one of my decks, and, and that keeps telling me rape, rape, sexual assault, they don't value you, they're going to take it from you whether it's your physical body, a physical possession, um, 
they want to own what you rightfully rightfully own is let's just put it that way for the negative things and there has been an an upsweep uh, an upsweep um there's been a lot of thieves and crazy people out and about today we have venus and sagittarius squaring neptune and pisces now Venus and Sagittarius is kind of, I want to say flighting, but it's more or less like adventurous and inspiring. You could be inspired by love or you could want to do some things. You, you could be inspired to do some things that could inspire other people. Like, God, look at them. They're doing that, you know. Like, let's say today you wake up and you're like, hey, let's go hang gliding, you know. And your partner says, I'm in. Let's go. That's Venus and Sagittarius. Get up and go do it. Get up and go have some fun. Now, Sagittarius would denote adventure and traveling as well. Uh oh. Okay, I was um, I was gonna talk about the uh, Venus and Sagittarius in terms of the T square, but I haven't even gotten to it yet. Eleven, eleven. Just looked up. Okay, so Venus squaring Neptune in general, it could be disappointment and love. And it could be that somebody could have been victimized. Something was taken from you, either a possession. They could have taken up your time. They could have tried to rape you. Um, they could have put a lot of uh, pressure on you. So it basically amounted to sexual assault. They wanted something from you. They were going to take it, whether or not you were happy with it. And it was all under the disguise of, oh, I love you so much. You know, as you're saying no, and they're pushing themselves onto you. So... If this has happened to you, I I apologize. Um, I don't even know what to say. People, sometimes they think they, they own you, that you're their property, and they think they can do things to you, okay? Or they don't even care. They're just, you know, taking, they're claiming, claiming what is not theirs, or they're using, they're claiming that, oh, I have permission, to do this. Hmm, weird that just came to me. They feel like they have permission to do this when really you may not be interested. So some of you guys, you may have been pawed and fondled and, and some of you guys may have been in a situation where you were sexually assaulted or even possibly raped by somebody that you know or somebody that you don't know could be out of out of the blue because the sexual assault can be by surprise also okay with the on the positive note venus squaring neptune these are two beneficence okay so with a square they activate each other in a positive way with any transit there's a negative and a positive even if it's a negative transit when you get beneficent negative transit beneficent what does two negatives equal guys a positive that's right you've got it so this can be a hugely positive time for some of you guys you can get lucky in love you can get lucky in travels you could win a trip somewhere Venus squaring Neptune. This is a very fortunate um, fortunate transit. And being at 15 degrees is right in the middle of the degrees. It is kind of forcing you to either look on the bright side or be happy-go-lucky and possibly ignore it okay because there's there's two things i see here with neptune it can be confusion illusion and delusion okay and not worrying about it um kind of like somebody who says something like oh yeah the sky the sky is purple you know when the sky is clearly blue right at the moment right and oh yeah um what was i gonna say uh we're seeing it all over the news today where somebody says something and you know, instead of apologizing for a mistake or apologizing for something that was wrong, they just kind of gloss over it as if their delusions was the actual truth. So we have two different, you know, uh, versions of the negative side. 
okay and then the positive side like I says it's very fortunate somebody might sponsor a trip for you this is sponsor all over it <laughs> sponsor a trip let's go traveling let's go have some fun let's go have some drinks for some of you guys you could be traveling abroad for some education it could be spiritual education or you could be feeling spiritual about traveling or about education let's see then we have a t square the t square forces a decision okay this says make a decision now <laughs> okay and sometimes it can be very unpleasant if you have been ignoring something okay so that's where that ne that delusion or illusion or confusion um fantasy world where neptune uh in retrograde in pisces comes in okay so what the Venus squaring Neptune is part of a T-square. Those two square the moon and Gemini. Okay, so with those three together, it should be fortunate circumstances. It should be uh, taking care of some errands and making a road trip. Can you say road trip? <laughs> okay, but unfortunately, they are squares. So you do want to watch out for other drivers now. The Neptune says somebody under the influence can cause an accident or you guys might be drinking and driving on the road trip so be aware uh, be aware of other drivers and always be aware of your surroundings now I felt guilty yesterday I came home and I thought about that that I never mentioned the rape or the sexual assault and I want to double up with my followers please always be aware of your surroundings okay because you literally could be surrounded at this time or you could be backed into a corner with somebody with evil intentions okay somebody wanting something from you whether it's your temple your possessions your vehicle And sometimes they just want to take your happiness. Sometimes evil people who are malintented just want to see you cry or want to see you hurt. Okay? Don't give them the pleasure of that satisfaction. If you are already in your higher timeline, they made it try to give you some kind of hit, in which case it's basically like a, like a fly trying to punch a rhino. Um, minimal hit didn't really do anything and you know with the uh venus and neptune they thought they were hurting you and come to find out but it actually helped you so i mean i want to say I, and this is 3d of me but ha 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 <laughs> that's like spirit you know spirit protecting your back so with the t-square you could Decide to fuck off the day and go and have a little bit of fun with your honey. Take a road trip, visit some friends. Now, with Gemini, it's... Brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, cousins, and neighbors. So, you know, friends and acquaintances. I would say friends because at this point, we got rid of anybody who was not a solid friendship. And some of us are in that stage where they're meeting up with people, their vibe tribe, people who have the same interests in common. They travel the same circles, whether it's physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually, that kind of deal. Okay, I'm hearing linking up. Running errands with your loved one, going here, going there. So you guys could be running errand, new errands this is almost like running new errands or changing up the errands that you're running like let's say i want to say changing up the daily specials <laughs> that um that's what they're telling me changing up the daily specials like the other day i usually get I, um, well not usually but when i do order from this restaurant which is about oh i don't know three or four times a month um i get chili cheese fries so i walk in and you know the bartender looks at me and says chili cheese fries today trish and i said no i want something different i just like my stomach is changing and that you know that's still the cancer eclipse energy um your tastes are changing for some of you guys in case you didn't know you change consciousnesses 
your consciousness changes. It levels up every seven years. Okay, so that pretty much equals to your tastes change. So right now, um, a lot of you that are my age, 49 years old, okay, so this would be the seventh time, actually the sixth time, <laughs> the sixth time that you are changing things up, like when you used to drink, possibly like if you drank coffee every single morning, that was your daily habit. Some of you guys could be going to decaf or tea, or maybe you're on a diet and you're going with the smoothie, okay? Or <clears throat> instead of going to 7-Eleven for your morning coffee, maybe you're going to that specialty shop or the natural food store. There's something different about what you're doing. So you're venturing out and doing something different that's more aligned more in sync with how you're feeling. So your tastes have changed. And feeling good about it. Like, hmm, when you have, you know, chocolate, chocolate espresso every single morning, maybe today, hey, you know what? I'll try the caramel. Let me try something new, something else that I like that I had put on the side. I'd been like, okay, you see this stack of cards? This is this is your daily schedule you get up you do this you get this you like this this is your everyday thing i use this hair product i use this hair soap though so there is something about your daily something that you do every single day that you're train changing or a variety feeling good about using variety or making a different choice okay this has been your day to day, okay? When really, you have the option of choosing from these, okay? You have all these options. So let's randomly pick one. <laughs> Just saying, you know, for example, okay? Also too, <clears throat> let's see. Some of you guys might be traveling and drinking and drugging. I want to say with the Sagittarius. Sagittarius loves to party, so it could be 2222. Okay, so couples, uh, twin flames, you guys could be out on new adventures. You guys could be exploring new things, new ways of doing things, and you guys might be sick of the same old, same old. So it's like, hey, let's go, let's go do this. You know, it's been seven years or it's been 14 years, or it's been 21 years. <laughs> I wanna say multiples of seven they're giving me. I didn't even realize it, but yes, I'm 49, and yes, my tastes are changing. No, I'm not stopping drinking coffee. <laughs> that is not the thing I'm changing this year, but I believe, um, one, two, three, four, four, 28. When I was 28, I was drinking Coca-Cola. And I think it was in, in, in that year, the 28th, I stopped drinking. No, it was, it was seven years later. So it was actually... No, it was shortly after that. Okay, so seven times five, 35. So when I was 35, I was drinking Coke every morning. I was basically getting up and slamming two Coca-Colas and some physical things had happened to me over the years and I ended up switching back to coffee. So, and also too, I want to remind you that whatever you've avoided, whatever you did not like to eat, what you didn't like to do, what you didn't like to see, feel, hear, experience you may now be changing your mind about something and going back to something that you've passed up before or weren't interested in before because your tastes are changing. So as a couple, if you are a couple and Moon and Gemini, the Gemini card, um, Gemini has several cards, but in the major arcana, we have the hermit, okay? And we also have the lovers, okay? So those two smack of privacy privacy and togetherness it's you and me against the world you know it's a ride or die and i want to say ride or die too because the moon and gemini can also be 
car accidents. We do have Mercury currently in retrograde, in, uh, currently retrograde in Scorpio. Okay, so at this time, if you're not careful, this can car accidents can wind up in death. Okay, and there can be the cause of somebody under the influence. Some of you guys might be deciding whether or not to play hooky. <laughs> um, let's see, Neptune squaring Venus. It does seem really, really fortunate. For some of you guys, you will be getting a brand new car. For others, you will be taking responsibility for your actions. Like, oh my God, I shouldn't have drove drunk. With all the transits yesterday, um, there was something with Mercury and Scorpio. So there was talking about quitting something or ending something. Uh, like for me personally, it was discussing quitting smoking. Okay, or you could have been talking to a Scorpio or visiting with the Scorpio sun, moon, or rising. This is exploring. So some of you guys could be, oh, okay, I just heard Huey, Huey, Huey Lewis, I want a new drug. Okay, so some of you guys could be trying a new drug or trying something new or drugging in a new way. And I'm not encouraging you to open up, you know, like if you guys are out there at Tweaking, I'm not encouraging you to shoot up or anything. But I'm just saying the transition can go from bad to worse or it can go from good to great. You know, your choice. With the degree it is at 15, it is your choice. Let's see how the cards play this one out. Ooh, look at that. Got five in now. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Look at that. I don't know if I should take this. What do you guys think? I want to say hold on to it because that's kind of what I'm getting is hold on to it. These are mostly upright this last card. Oh, God, I hate this card. Thief. Yeah. Some of you guys, um, and I want to say with the moon and Gemini, you guys may be cracking jokes or being sarcastically funny or just, you know, humorous if you want to be grotesque with the sun and Scorpio. <laughs> it could be about bones, funny bones. Nice. Okay, so First card, 17, gift. Ooh, with a surprise, wheel of fortune. So this is, wow, the gift that changes your life. Seasonal, I'm hearing seasonal. Turn, turn, turn. In every season, turn, turn, turn. Mm -hmm. It's now coming upon gift giving season. The gift card doesn't necessarily mean a present, okay? But with the full moon in Taurus, this is something that's appearing in the physical realm. This could be, I'm hearing the gift to end all gifts. So some of you guys may get a surprise gift that is going to change your outlook. Or because you change your outlook, you're getting a big surprise. Things are changing. Sh things are shifting. I want to say seasonal items are... Seasonal preferences are changing. Some of you guys are getting a huge surprise this Christmas. I want to say holidays, holiday season... This holiday season, you'll stoke the fire. Okay, read into that any way you want. <laughs> you know me, guys. When I say one word, it, there's you know three. You gotta you gotta read between the lines sometimes, guys. Okay, reading between the lines. So you may kind of have an inkling what this person will get you, or you've been 
trying to manifest something and then this person suddenly gets you it. I don't know if it's, I want to say for somebody's birthday, they may be a Sagittarius. They may be having a big present coming up. Let's see where my eyes go. So it could be birthday, it could be Thanksgiving, it could be, you know, with the birthday, we like to celebrate the birthday month here. So you have your special day, but it's also your special month. So somebody could surprise you with something that you had hoped for. Okay, I want to say killing that wish off or checking that wish off. So you may have, I want to say, a bucket list or a list of things you want to get or things you need in order to progress, in order to move forward, roll forward. Spinning your wheels. This is probably going to be the first time that this person has given you such a heartfelt gift. I'm getting the feeling that, you know, before it was obligatory to give a present, this is probably going to be the first time that this person actually puts some thought into giving this to you. And this kind of signifies your attachment. I'd like to, I look forward to many more adventures with you. That's happiness. Wow. Okay, so I'm almost picturing like, you're sitting in the car, your partner gets in and they're like, all right, where are you driving me to? Road trip. So they could get you a car and then expect you to show for them around, which is kind of, which is comical, um, teasing. They're fucking with you. <laughs> okay, I just heard that joke. Um, how do you keep an asshole in suspense? Okay. Want to know the answer? The answer is, I'll tell you tomorrow. <laughs> so, they may say, I got you something. but you, And you don't know what it is. I'm not going to tell you. This is that teaser. They're going to try and tease you. I got you something. You can't guess what it is. And the funny thing is, you probably already know what it is. But they're enjoying um, taunting. This is um, bantering, sexual banter. It's like sexual banter. King of Cups is reversed on top of this, so you're going to cry. You are going to cry when you get this present. God, I'm, I'm feeling it now. I feel like my tears are about to well up. You're literally going to lose control. Look, I'm about to cry. I don't even know what this is. This isn't even me. And all choked up. Somebody's going to be really, really choked up. Look, I want to cry. My God. <laughs> this hasn't happened to me, guys. I'm just crying. I'm crying for you, whoever this is that gets this special surprise, either for their birthday or sometime around this holiday season. We're actually in the holiday season. I consider uh, Halloween the beginning of the holiday season. Okay. The, the season of giving, the season of loving. And that's it. There is a season, turn, turn, turn. And then the crying, the happy crying, the outpouring. It's almost like I'm hearing drop to your knees. Oh my God, guys, I'm crying. I'm crying. This is freaking getting me. I don't even know what the damn present is. I don't even know who this is. But whoever you are out there, I want you to know that you deserve this and you've worked hard for this. Oh my god, I'm about to lose my shit. Guys, I'm crying. Wow, this is this is intense. Um whew, whoever it is out there, whatever this present is that you're getting, please, please let me know because I'm freaking blubbering for you over here. I'm so happy I could cry. <laughs> I am. That's basically what this is. 21. Family room. This is a room, any room. It could be a boardroom. It could be a classroom. It's any room where you can get comfortable, where you can get intimate uh, with a group of people. This can even be a classroom. It is a place where you can authentically express your opinions and your emotions about something. Six of Pentacles. Ooh, this is the moon in Taurus. 
payback, generosity, success, reciprocation. So this could be, they're finally meet me halfway across the sky. They're finally giving back to you. There's finally been an equalizing of benefits. For some of you guys, they're spending money on a room in your house. I want I don't want to say redecorating, although there could be a redecorating. This is more of a fixing this. So this can be like a family meeting where we need to get back putting back into the house, taking care of your property. I want to say assessing your property. Assessing the property and how much energy you need to put back into it because it's been a house. Now you need to, uh, it, it's kind of, I want to, what's the word? Discrepant. It's uh, dilapidated. It, some places might be becoming dilapidated. So you want to rework, rework it back to life. Working on bringing something back to life. Okay. Taking that property and turning up, taking that building, that land, and turning it into a house and eventually a home. So right now the house uh, symbolizes a structure, the surrounding, the protection. The home is what you make it when you put flowers, when you put pictures, when you personalize and individualize your space. So this is like fixing up the space, giving back to the space, giving it the time and attention it needs. So a lot of you guys could be refurbishing, rebuilding, renovating, fixing up the broken, fixing up the new, evaluating what needs your time and your energy, and then putting it because there was a period of time where you kind of had to let it go. Something was let go. And now it's time to put energy back into that. Six of Pentacles can be payback. It's also, it's something coming back from the past. Okay, coming back to you. We have Mercury and Retrograde and Taurus. So there could be a lot of communication in regards to fixing up or repairing a home. Taurus is about the money and comfort. So let's whip this place into shape. Okay, and this authentic, open, communication it's time to fix up the house so we can go home main male prince of pentacles and temperance nice 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 okay so your main man is the male in your life the main male in your life okay if this is not a relationship it's a partnership it's a friend um, with the moon and Gemini like I said brothers uncles cousins neighbors Taurus would be an established relationship somebody that you're comfortable with and then, yeah, if you're in a Twin Flames relationship, this would be the Divine Male. Uh-oh, little spot of water there. How did that happen? God, I hope I didn't just, like, spit a big chunk. Gross. Sorry, guys. Okay, so. You, weird. Do you see how the, wind, the, the light coming in from the window is kind of, like, right here? It's bluish, yeah, but look, as soon as I go like that. As soon as I go like that, it blocks the light. Interesting because there's like a window over there. <laughs> blue, not blue, blue, not blue, sorry. I know, I'm kind of mental today. It's that moon in Gemini. It's making me kind of ridiculous. <laughs> okay, um, when I think Gemini, I think funny monkey. You know why? Because <laughs> both of my boys are born May 25th, exactly nine years apart. And I think I, I said it yesterday in the... Uh, in the reading for yesterday that I call them my little monkey butts. <laughs> and the thing is, I call my daughter a monkey butt, even though she's not the May, May uh, Gemini baby. She 
is actually the year of the monkey in the Chinese horoscope. So I literally have three monkeys. <laughs> See no evil, hear no evil, do no evil. Okay, so your mean man is talking about what needs to be done. Okay, paying back. It, it feels like that the mean male in your life is going to be physically going and doing something repairs they're physically doing repairs on your work traveling to the home uh, this is discussion and negotiation is also an offer we need to take care of that or I'm going to take care of that temperance would be about leveling the playing field It's also about balance, tempering hot and cold into warm. So it's kind of like, I want to say cross, cross purposes, but blending, blending an extreme and a lack into a medium temper working together. Okay, so it kind of feels like easing back in, like you're not going to show up and just rebuild the house in one day. Basically, this is a little bit at a time. So it feels like something's being assessed with the eyes. This could be a visual assess, a mental assess, follow up. I want to say somebody's writing something down on paper. Measuring tape. I see measuring tape and a pad of paper. I need this. I need this. I need this. They're writing down measurements. So this could be fixing the framing, fixing the framing, fixing the outside, the covering, fixing the floor, fixing the walls. Hold on. Somebody has the time and the money right now that they're able. Well, they're still, they're still, it looks like they're still working, but they're giving back to somebody with the Six of Pentacles and the Temperance. It's like, I want to say, oh, but it's not that they owe somebody. It's not that they feel that they owe somebody, but they feel that they owe the object, the item, or the situation some energy, some time, some money, some care, some thoughts. Okay, so somebody's going to physically assess. Oh, square it up. Okay, I kept getting square with the temperance. I kept getting square and, and units of measurement. So... Squaring it up, making sure that the foundation, the framework, and that the structure is stable. So somebody's uh, looking at assessing what needs to be done. Okay, they're physically going and looking, you know. You may go home and, and your old man may be, hey, I checked out the property today, I mowed the lawn. Um, and you know then he pulls out his list and we need four two by fours we need a uh, 16 inches by you know blah 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 <laughs> all, all those little things that you don't deal with if you're uh, you're a female and you're not a builder okay so you let them handle it they got this And I, I'm hearing justified also, justifiable. Yeah, so still, I'm still getting assessing, Justif justifiably assessing, uh, assessing what can be, I keep getting the square. I keep getting squared. Um,
lock it up, sum it up. Securing the base. Looking, oh, um, assessing for potential security risks. Making sure everything's squared away. So, so yeah, even though this is the card of the Sagittarius, this is, this is almost like justice for the Divine Feminine. But it's not being taken as justice. It's just what needs to be done. Okay, Thief. Five of Pentacles. Ugh, God. Okay, so one of the reasons why this house may be, need to be secured and squared up, I didn't even think about that. I should have looked at these cards, then I would have realized um, securing it from theft, making sure that the windows are good, that the doors are all good, that um, everything can be locked up tight. You don't want to have to worry about that, okay? So here's another Five of Pentacles. This may be anxiety. It may be fear. Somebody's really worried about theft, okay? And who wouldn't be? There's been a there's been a resurgence and uprising of thieves and chronics stealing in order to supply their fixes, you know, to get their fixes. And the thing is, this person is not doing it for themselves. They're finally doing it for the both of you. This is a new adventure in love. This is probably the first time that they've given back in this relationship that they are secure in. They're secured. Now they want to secure the house so you feel secure, they feel secure, we all feel secure. Yeah, they've got some real fears about somebody breaking in. Um, I'm really not surprised. Okay, so the last card I have over here that came out by itself, Ace of Cups. Now, this kind of tells me that this is the beginning of a beautiful thing. You already have a beautiful thing, but now there's action, there's justice, there's payback, there's reciprocation, okay? This person is investing in you as much as you've invested in them. Now, you've invested in them continually over the years, and you have kept your heart open no matter how many times they hurt you, and they've come to realize that. So they're finally looking to establishing a home with you, and this is going to be way more fear, way more balance. Something that they've never experienced before or something that they haven't had since their first heartbreak. Since the first time they were rejected, abandoned, cheated on, betrayed. So this is an open heart, okay? So there's real love here. Ace of Cups, that is the holy cup. That's the holy grail. That's a cup you want. This is real. This is true. So this is, this is the beginning of your beautiful life together. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups. Just because I want to hear more about the love. just because these are my love cards. This cups. <laughs> wow. Decisions, decisions. Previously, they may have stressed on your responsibilities. <clears throat> you did not put that on them. So there is this sense of, I got to go do this. I got to go do this. So they're, they're taking it upon themselves to go take care of this. You know, why not? They're the men of the house. That doesn't mean that you can't help or you can't do it. It's just kind of like, all right, this is my house. This is where we're going to be. This is the property. I've got the time. 
I'm going to go take care of this. I'm going to see what needs to be done, how it can be fixed, how it can be secured. Okay, so making the decision, not letting things throw you, but what do I need to do to change the balance? Well, I need to go take a look and see where I can square up. Hermit. Her, uh, so we got the Ten of Pentacles that fell out on the Ace of Cups. Basically, when you love yourself first, when you're authentic, when you love others authentically, you're covered. You have support. You have each other's back. And this is the beginning of a real, true love relationship in which you love yourself, you respect yourself, you love and respect each other. You give each other the space you need to be free within the confines of the relationship. And you support each other's growth. Okay, so ten of pentacles is abundance. Ace of cups is also abundance. New beginnings and a blessing. So a blessing from the heavens and the blessings and support from people around you. It's beautiful cards. Okay, and then also... On the Ace of Cups, I was clarifying that we also got the Hermit. Remember what I was saying about wanting to tuck away? It's just me and you against the world. Don't want to deal with a lot of people. Um, don't want to get riled up. I got too many things going on. I'm really busy. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. So, you know, when the day is done or when I'm done with my day, if you're not working, you're just working around the house. It's kind of like I don't want to deal with a lot of people. I just kind of want to chill, hide out have a drink and relax and not have to deal with the other people's emotions because I've got mine in check. Okay, then the two of wands. <laughs> Action, making a decision in terms of goals and moving forward. This is a manifestation portal, okay, because it, it is a two, but it is wands, okay? So you have a wand here and a wand here. This is a portal to walk through. What is your pleasure? What is your goal? So you guys may be holding up, having private discussions, and deciding on what goals you need to address together. Okay, so it feels like you guys are on the same page. The Hermit is about mastering, mastering your emotions and going within. Figuring out the puzzle pieces. So you guys are creating a plan of action. A plan of action. Figuring out what do you got to do, what are you going to do first, what needs to be addressed. When you get to the bottom, you go back to the top. Health skelter. I don't know why they're telling me that. Maybe somebody heard that or, you know, it is Scorpio season. So some of these scary ghost stories could be coming out. Ooh, beautiful. Archangel. Ariel, prosperity. Ooh. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Beautiful. Okay, so what was I saying with the full moon and Taurus energy? This is a physical manifestation. Okay, you're physically getting payback of energy in some kind of way. And it's the main male who's doing this. They're helping you out. Out of the kindness of their heart. What helps one helps all. What affects one affects all. All for one. All for one and one for all. Okay, I want to say three musketeers because I feel like there's a dog. This could be the man. Okay, that's why they were making me look at the bull. The black dog. <laughs> Some of you guys have black dogs. Um, they may be traveling while they go to work on this property or this house or this possession, whatever they're rebuilding, refurbishing, or fixing. They got their tag-along dog. They bring in their dog with them. Just me and the dog. That makes more sense. I didn't even get that. I was wondering why with the temperance. I'm like, what are they trying to tell me? There's no dog on the temperance picture. You would think that temperance representing Sagittarius, it would have horse and dogs on here. But there's no horse or dogs on here. And that's why we have several different decks, right? They kept bringing my attention to the 
the bull, and the bull's looking up, so it doesn't necessarily look like a bull. It kind of looks, kind of looks like, like a black dog following you around. So this can be bringing the children with them. So this could be bringing the daughter. So this could be a female dog, or it could be the daughter. So somebody's not working, and they're they're watching the kids. They're watching the kids or the dogs, or. Yeah, I'm still getting the daughter. So this is a young girl. This could be a female dog or a female child. Hmm, interesting. Well, it's been a while since I've used the Hawaiian Healing Intentions cards. So I'm going to pull one from there today. And we are at 55 and a half minutes. 55.33, guys. So I think I told you guys at this point I'm seeing 77 four to five times a day. Okay, and, and before I used to say, you know, I see 77 every day. And now it's to the point where I'm seeing it four to five times every single day without fail. Unless I go 3D and lose my shit, <laughs> I'm seeing it four to five times a day. Now for those of you who are new, in case you didn't know, synchronicity is the norm. Okay, so when things start lining up and working for you, it's because you are following your divine mission, your divine purpose. So stay on that track. And I'm curious to know, anybody else out there sees 77? I know a lot of you folks out there see lots of numbers like 1111, but I'm wanting to meet somebody who sees 77 a lot on the same basis as I do. Okay. Ho'oko, to fulfill. It is service. It's a number 38, so that would be communicating legacy, traveling for legacy, legacy ideas. So there could be some ideas that you got that you're going to get moving on or get working on. My intention is to humbly ask, how can I serve and to honor and support myself as I offer my gifts to the world? Oh, and I neglected to mention that uh, three plus eight breaks down to 11, which is the manifestation portals. It is the number of the month. And it's also, you know, these two things, decisions, decisions and goals and plans. Service is the act of offering your gifts for the good of others and the planet. It is essential that you include yourself in the equation of those you are choosing to serve. Taking great care of yourself enables you to thrive and be more effective in your service to others. Service in balance with self-care and aligned with your highest truth will always be right for all concerned. Okay, so if you find yourself stuck, do not go in that analysis paralysis spiral that the, that the hermit can promote. You know what? Get out. Help an old lady cross the road. Feed, feed a stray cat or a stray dog some food, or e even what? Even better, take them home with you and find them a home. You know, help whenever you can. Don't give the shirt off your back, but do your best to at least do a kind deed every day. You know what? And if you're into it, do one in the morning, do one in the afternoon, do one in the evening. Like it's medicine because it is. It will make you feel better. And for a lot of you out there, I think um, this could be for the Pisces or the Gemini, sun, moon, rising. You have to serve or you will suffer. Okay, you have so much to give to the world. And people want it. They want it and they need it. So get on out there and share your joy, share your inspiration, share your story, and share your tools. All right, guys, love you. That's all I got for you today. Take care.